what's going on guys the inhuman p town i'm back with more the darkness last time uh well we went to go see jenny we had a nice time and shit's probably about to hit the fan and that's a really obvious way to put it but yeah Fuck you guys. Hi. I'm almost dead. You're not. How's it going? Well, you're not cowering in fear this time. But you have a name, so I'm going to leave you alone. So yes, I. this is where my checkpoint restarted me back at. I'm half tempted to see if I can eat you. But you have a name, so seem good enough. Now let's see. Uh, where was a uh, Orchid Street at? I think he said it was right across from Jenny's apartment. Uh, so I guess if I go down Mulberry-ish, so if I go down the other way, maybe. Maybe, I guess, I think, I don't know. How did I kill these guys? Okay, I guess I did. They, I, I, if I don't have the option to devour hearts, it's probably a good sign that they were already there. What? I saw I saw subtitles for a second. Oh. Oh no, bad guys. It's a shame if a monster were to kill them. But the monster is me. Yeah. Body out of my way. Eh. Eh. I'm stuck. There we go. Hi. And that's how you kill people without wasting a single bullet. Oh, here we go. The Olive Grove. I'm sorry about adding additional bodies. Sorry, Butcher. Hi. Sorry, I didn't like you guys talking about me behind my back. I'm sure you guys understand, of course. Yeah, there we go. If there's one untouchable in this business, it's Butcher Jenks. You put out a hit on some guy, they should brush it in the fire. No one's ever the wiser. Butcher knows everyone's business. And what keeps him alive is that he never, ever chooses a side. Well, too bad there's a war. Yeah, I could see that as being bad. Oh fuck, I know this part. Oh. I heard you coming 
from a block away, Jackie. That is not my fault. Every cop for a half a mile around probably knows you're here. Fucking cops all I need now, huh? Grab that body, would you? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there you are. Can't you people make your hits at a reasonable time of the day, huh? They told me there was only one body to dispose of. What's the reason for this? Oh, dealers from the alley. So what happened? Instead, some moron took a bullet right through the head of Jeff Elvis. I hope to God he's dead. Show me to throw it in there. I'm just gonna put it in there. I will as soon as the option pops up. There we go. All right. Well. The poly business or uh, the poly business or the demonic or the uh, demon tentacle monsters. I wish the hell I knew, Butch. I don't know. I guess Paulie thinks I'm gonna for his throne. Someone cold cocks me on a takedown at Eno's. Next thing I know, I got the fifty pound cowboy riding my ass. You know me, Jackie. I never choose sides. Whatever the problem is. Paulie to solve it. Well, if this gets out of hand, the Chicago family will intervene. When that happens, you and your buddy are toast. Okay, good to know. There's some higher ups that uh nobody likes. I could lose it. Now I wouldn't put it past them to throw Eddie Schroeder on your ass. Uh, Chicago families? I'd like to know more about that. Hold on a second. Why would the Chicago families give a fuck? They care about two things. Respect and money. Not necessarily in that order. You make the money, you earn their respect. You rock the boat, they throw you in the ocean. Big enough dent in his business, the Chicago people will see to it he has an accident. I would never be one to suggest how you do this, but if you ask me, you need to pay a visit to Dutch Oven Harry. Lovely name. Smoles in him. Dutch Oven Harry. No, never heard of him. Who's Dutch Oven Harry? I'd really like to know. His dealer of illicit medicine. He works out of a building in Hunter's Point. Now, if I were the kind of man to be involved in things like this, I'd take down Harry. I'd pull all of his merchandise out of the building. But I'm not, see? Okay. You don't want to come walking up to their front door. So go through that rundown billiards club at Whitefish Alley. There's a back door leading to Hunter's Point from there. This is why I don't get involved. Get back inside. Well, this sounds beautiful. Time to dance. Uh, first of all, though. If I'm going to dance, I'm going to have a winning advantage. Who comes into my house of pain? Jackie Escano. This is Captain Edward Schroeder. 
Oh, good. Good to know. Yes, please come at me. Oh. Wait, where did I get shot from? Hi. Well, I got a shotgun. Whoa. Okay, thank God. And surprise, so are you. Yeah, what was that? Oh, yeah, another one. Must have missed him. Huh. That actually went surprisingly well. Also, now I have a shotgun. Also, could use a friend. God, I can't wait till I get my next darkness power. I really miss it. Okay, back inside. Yeah, absolutely no hard feelings. None so much. In fact, I'm going to eat your faces. Damn. Get a little bit closer. Maybe then I can take out this one that's over here. Light's really doing a number on me, though. Damn, so close. Alright, I'm just gonna have to run and gun for him. Or I can use this trash can. Hi. I'm sorry, who's yours? I wasn't paying attention. Ah, good times. I think that's everyone. I, except for the helicopter, I can't really take that down, though. Huh? Oh, I missed, I missed a heart. I think I go down here. Yeah, or not. I'd rather not. No, thanks. Oh, fuck.
Wow, I had the trippiest dream. Aw, still back at this point. I'd kill these guys again. See if I can take out some of those lights. Give myself somewhat of an advantage. if I do get shot while I'm doing this I have to come Ugh. they bite him what you gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do I'm gonna tear off your fucking faces and then I'll consume your faces Well, more of consume your hearts instead of your faces, but you get the general idea. All right. I didn't hear anything. Hi there. Okay, helicopter's there just to divert me to another way when it doesn't want me to go someplace. Got it! No! Oh, fuck. Eh, go faster. Go away from death. And climb ladder, that sounds good. Hello. Take out that. And summon you. Well, oh, looting the police, police, about as fun as I thought it would be. Can, can you break this? No, you can't. Cool. All right. Uh, oh, no, wait. Here we go. That works. Thank you for being a distraction, Darklings. Okay. And 
I think we're at a good stopping point. So, when next we come back, we'll find... Whoa, okay, we'll go through the loading screen first. The best way to my Uncle Polo's heart is through his rib cage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on it. Now, I've been all over town picking up Polo's drug money from his street peddlers, but I've never been to Dutch Oven Alley's. Okay. So I guess when next we come back, we're going to be dealing with Dutch Oven Harry. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta! Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Darkness. If you liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back out to the street, survive whatever Uncle Polly's got coming for me, understand this dark power that lies within me, and hopefully just be able to make it out of this mess. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta. You are nothing but my puppet.